Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm gonna talk about boolean values which are a very special kind of data type. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, this is going to be a little bit complex but let me just explain what I'm talking about. So a computer is a machine that deals with numbers. Uh, you may know that are the numbers 0 and 1 and basically these numbers can be stored in using electricity so for example if I want to store zero it could mean that there's no energy or an electro uh, in this uh, cell and I'm gonna say there, if there is I'm gonna use uh, one to represent that so I guess you could get the idea so <clears throat> let's just create a bool value okay we use uh, names which are keywords to represent them uh, in Python, but uh, in, in other languages such as C, you probably use would use zero and one uh, to represent them. Okay, so let's just start by uh, creating a variable which is going to represent a state. So let's say a state, for example, alive, which is a state. Let's use the variable equal. And let's say I'm going to assign a life is equal to true. So as you can see, this is like syntax highlight has done. It works. It works. So let's call this variable and you can see that it is true. So this can also means that we can uh, store states within these variables, but there are a, a reason why we have this kind of values, the boolean values, which are for operations, logical operations, also called statements, okay? So we're gonna use this when we are dealing with conditions, which are a kind of ways to handle a program execution during the runtime uh, event, okay? So there are two basic types of uh, boolean values, boolean values which are true and false. Okay. So basically, there are these two, and we're gonna use them. Eventually, we're gonna use them when we see if and else statements. Okay. So just keep in mind, this is pretty basic. I'm just gonna tell you uh, why they exist because we need to have a state in order to make a decision so you could have a better idea of what you're making okay for example if i want to close a door first of all i need to know if the door is open i cannot close a door which is closed or so for example I, if i want to do something i have to know i need i must know which state are and then i can act on it okay so thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys in the next videos.